Hello everybody and welcome to Michigan, the great state of Michigan, for today's matchup between the Wake Forest Stephen Deacon and Eastern Michigan. So far in the year, Wake Forest 1 and 2 losses to Rice, Penn State, and they're looking to rebound after two straight dismal losses, giving up 50 points plus in both outings. So, Eastern Michigan, don't know anything about them, haven't played them in five years as a coach. Should be interesting. We're at their territory, you're going to see a lot of green and white. Don't let that fool you though, Wake Forest comes to play every week, and they can show you a thing or two. So we're here at Ryan Near Stun Stadium in Michigan, and it is going to be a heck of a game. So with that said, let's get ready for the coin toss. And Wake Forest actually wins the coin toss. They elect to defer. So Eastern Michigan will get the ball first. And already firing on all cylinders is Reginald Bell. He finds his wideout Rick Larson for 15 yards to start the game. And that's how Eastern Michigan's day will start. Second and six. Reginald Bell will run, but it would be short-lived as the Demon Deacons punch the ball out. They recover the fumble, and just a mere 40 seconds into the game, Wake Forest already has the ball off of their defense. So what can they do? Well, they're going to start in great field position, and the first play of their day will go to Desmond Wortham. So, with that said, last season, 444 yards, one touchdown, and six yards per catch. Now, after that, Brian Caldwell's left open. So, one after another after another, the cylinders are turning for Wake Forest. They're already in Eastern Michigan's red zone. Let's see if they can do anything about it. Delson Thomas, yeah, he'll take it to the one. Because he is the number one on this team. Not really, that's Desmond Wortham. But he feels like it, and that's what's important with the new guy coming into the system. And then on third and goal, it is going to be all Wayne Hayes. Wayne Manor, he is going to get it in there. And Wake Forest is up 7 nothing already. The PAT would be good. So Wake Forest couple plays five or six of them and they're up you can see on the play action middle linebacker Phillips for Eastern Michigan did bite and it cost him seven so Eastern Michigan back with the ball third and 14 big third down here for the Eagles can they get something done well Reginald Bell's gonna find his man Rick Larson again this time for 21 looks identical to the first play of the game for them and then he's gonna take it himself Reginald Bell is going off right now. This time he doesn't fumble. He's smart. He gets out of bounds. And Eastern Michigan is in Wake Forest red zone now. From the Wake Forest 15, Reginald Bell going to be a read option to his right-hand man. And that's Ryan Williams, the halfback. Takes it inside the five. And then at the one-yard line on second and goal, Eastern Michigan loves playing Temple Run. Caleb, or Caleb, excuse me, Temple, in for the score. So at the end of one, seven all here in Michigan. Wake Forest with the ball, second and two. Desmond Wortham with three minutes left in the first half here. He will pick up a first down, and it gives Wake Forest a new set of chains. Now second and one from about Eastern Michigan's 40, 39 yard line, Desmond Wortham gets some more yardage, 7 carries on this run, and he is at 70 yards. Then on 2nd and 8, Justin Thomas says, it's time for my time, and he picks up a first down with his legs. So the rushing game for Wake Forest, whether it's quarterback, running back, or wide receiver handoff, they're getting it done. 2nd and 2, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, Justin Thomas read option all the way down to the 5. And then on third and a goal from the four-yard line, Desmond Wortham shotgun right to Dustin Thomas. 
Uh, right? And yeah, you kind of expected it. It's almost guaranteed you're going to see one touchdown out of Desmond or Wilson every week. At least two, three or four on a really good day. But at the half, Desmond Wilson gives Wake Forest a 14-7 lead heading into the So, that's that for everyone's favorite part of the video. Overtime, stats, scores, news, everything like that. So, in the first quarter, what did we see from Wake Forest? Well, we saw, obviously, a very potent defense, 40 seconds in. Smith for Wake Forest, the uh, free safety, came up, blitz. It was a great call by the coach, and he got his fist in there and punched it all out. Wake Forest ensued to score on that play, and then one bad drive. Don't let that get you down. Wake Forest comes right back, and with a double ton of time and possession for Wake Forest, and an overwhelmingly dominating first half, they have themselves a seven-point lead. Wake Forest already near 200 yards. Eastern Michigan just cracking 100. Both teams with one turnover. They are both fumbles. And as we said, the time of possession will help you in college and in the NFL. Wake Forest leads that 13 14 to 6 46. 14 7. Wake Forest leads. We'll see if they can do the same in the second half. But there's a lot of football to be played. And. Right now, if you're a Wake Forest fan, things are looking good. You're two and two, but there's a tough road ahead. We have the ACC ahead after this, so it's not going to be easy, but it will be fun. Time to get the second half kickoff started, and Wayne Haynes has one touchdown. He's going to dump it outside to the left, and he's gone, folks. Wayne Haynes, 102 downtown. Touchdown Wake Forest and Wayne Manor is partying right now. Two total touchdowns, 21 7 Wake lead, and after an Eastern Michigan three and out, they will get the ball back. And now we're back to Desmond Wortham bringing home the bacon, no pun intended. Second and three, first down now. Dustin Thomas, go back to him, young man. Another one. First and 10, 12 yard pickup. And then on another first down pickup from uh, Dustin Thomas's read option, patented by him. A little dump off to Desmond Wortham. Keeps the wheels turning for 12 more. And just like that, Wick Force is inside the 10. And from the one, we said it was guaranteed at least one. How about two of them? Desmond Wortham, second of the day. 28-7 lead for Deeks. However, Eastern Michigan would spread their wings and fly like an eagle. Bell to Moore. First down on third and short, Brett Moore. Really didn't call his name much today, and he really didn't make an impact. However, on fourth and 16, Wake Forest defense needs to show up. We're in the fourth, 7.30 to go, but... The defense leaves Brett Moore open underneath. He gets the extra one yard they need to, needs by rolling on Wake Forest defenders. And then from there, Jason Hill. The Hills have eyes. And touchdown, East Michigan. Wake Forest with three and out. They kill the clock. That's what you want to see. They're go no huddle now. So Bell back to pass. He'll take off running. He gets a first down. Fumbles the ball, but Brett Moore is there. Now he's becoming a crucial part of this EMU offense. So, Bell, five-step drop. Finds his man. That's Cooper. Kyle Cooper picks up a first down. 12-yard catch. However, again, another fourth down scenario. But when you least expect it, Reginald Bell can deliver. Beautiful floater. So who else, Rick Larson? This is his touchdown and his team, and it's a one-score game. Onside kick. It couldn't get any worse if you're a Wake fan now. Thomas Steele locks in down on the onside after a muffed kick. And now only one shot remains for Eastern Michigan. Second and 11, Bell takes off, gets nailed. Third and three, and then... This is probably it. They have two timeouts. There's a minute left in the game. 
Wake Forest needs to stop. Bell will dump off one yard catch by Cam Sanders. And this is for the game, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth and two, Bell. Design keeper. But Wake Forest is there. And that is Fred Wright making the game winning tackle. Desmond Wortham finishes off the game with a run. And that is how the game ends. Wake Forest. A little surprising in the second half. Maybe slept on Eastern Michigan. We all know you can't do that on any team, but they did get lucky with the final drive of the game. 28-21. Wake Forest comes back. I know it's Eastern Michigan, but you played Rice. You played Penn State. You've lost to them both. Rice probably should have been a win. It feels good if you're a Wake Forest fan. We'll see you guys later next week. Take care.